Hey guys, Mark Rodriguez, just real quick little thing here. This is the Charles paper crafting I got from, from the last um, Nerd Block. And real quickly, you see, um, I see the Raphael here, Leonardo, Splinter, the Shredder, uh, Donatello, Michelangelo, and a Foot Soldier. And you got the Turtle Van, and you actually put the Turtle Van like kind of like on top of it, so it looks like they're driving it and all that stuff. And yeah, so this is showing off real quickly what it looked like, like the final product. And it was not as easy to make as as it looks, you know. But yeah, if you, if you want to see how Paige and me went through the trouble and the hassle of putting these guys together, then check out this video below. It's a quick video of her new series and. You know that's also that's how it is. But yeah, enough about this, guys. Let's uh, let's check out what I got in Nerd Block for this month. Hey guys, Mark Rodriguez here with the October edition of Nerd Block. Here it is. And yeah, this is basically one of those subscription boxes where every month you get all these typical nerdy and geeky type goodies. And well, at first, Nerd Block just it was just Nerd Block, but then it started doing all these things. We got Horror Block, which is all horror aid stuff. We got um, Nerd Block Junior, which is uh, for kids, and a boy version and a girl version. Now there's a new arcade block that's all about video games. And of course, now by default, they're calling this Nerd Block Classic, so you know what it is when you try to order it. But um, what the nerd block is doing now is that they're feeling that I guess they're losing their identity now because it's like you got you know the horror, the arcade. What about normal nerd block? So now instead of being completely random like it was before, now it's going to be kind of like loot crate in the sense that it is going to have its own thing. I think because that was later. No, this is now. This is the first official box that's going to have, like, its own thing and now. What is instead it, of just, Well, uh, hold on. And for people that don't know who that is, that's Paige behind the camera right there. And Paige also gets Loot Crate every month. And if you want to dare to compare, which is more awesome, between Loot Crate and Nerd Block, you can go to her channel, check out her uh, Loot Crate, and, of course, here for Nerd Block. I and, him. Yes. This and this, this well, 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 let's see. Let's see no, I mean, because I first, first of all, oh, I got okay. faster than you this time. You usually get it first. Yes, that's true. Anyways, this particular thing. Well, first of all, the main thing is that Kevin Smith from the Comic Book Guys is actually the one responsible for this this particular block. He got to choose what things are going to be in this block right now. And the big thing is that this one is for comic book fans. It's Marvel versus DC Comics, the two biggest companies. Everyone's always arguing that this is better, that's better. I like Batman, I like um, Spider-Man better, whatever. And now I see what this is about. Without further ado, let's get this started. And also you to remind you people... Way to open also to box. remind you people that... Um, since this is from Canada, it's imported and all that stuff. The words and everything are always like right on the box. What's in it, I guess, for... Like... Get a knife. It looks dangerous. Okay. And, um, so, yeah, if you don't want... Because, of course, part of the fun is not knowing what's in the box. And so you open it, be sure to have your friend or significant other open it for... You know, scribble it or something for you so you don't spoil the surprise. Okay. So, let's see what's in here. Holy moly. Well, the first thing that sticks out, well, there's other things that sticks out, but the first thing that sticks out here are stickers. I mean, I'm buttons, I'm sorry, buttons. And the buttons are pretty evenly matched. It's two DC, two Marvel. I got um, <coughs> Batman, Superman from DC, and Spider-Man, Wolverine from Marvel. That's pretty cool. And, of course, this popped up right away. One of those pop vinyl figures. Uh -huh, Deadpool! Yeah. Without his, um, without his mask on, which of course he has like this weird... Well, it looks like a exclusive. Read it. Yeah, let me see somewhere. Yeah, it says PX Previews Exclusive. Interesting. But yeah, because as you know, um, Deadpool has like this weird never curing cancer because his healing factor keeps bringing it back over and over and over. So yeah, he's not, he's not a handsome looking dude with the mask off. But yeah, that's pretty cool. And let's see what else we have here. And, of course, the shirt. Ooh, this looks weird. Okay. It's like a Batman and Robin thing, but I assume these guys are guys Kevin from... Kevin Smith. Yeah, Kevin Smith and I don't know who the other guy is, though. That's Silent Ball. No, that's not... No, Silent... Huh. Well, I, I don't know what that guy's name is. He's from Silent Bob. Oh. It's the, um, the clerks. That's the tall blonde guy. Oh. Yeah, I wonder, is, is that Kevin Smith for sure or is that Silent Bob? 
Mm, well, I think I'm, it might be Kevin Smith. I'm sure the people, well, since he chose the theme, the other guy's got to be Kevin Smith. But, um, yeah, I'm sure anyone watching this can correct us. But, yeah, so it's Batman and Robin themed. But I, it is. I'm just there. trying to figure out the Silent Bob. Yeah, it says Silent Bob in the background. The wanted posters say um, Silent Bob. But, yeah, so <laughs> that's a weird shirt. It's interesting. But it's a weird shirt. Because I do apologize. I don't really watch the show that all that often. I know. Gas, gas, gas. He's from the the tall blonde ones from uh, Clerks. Mm. And well, that's, they're a, friends. That's why. Mm. There's a Zelda thing. They did announce a Zelda thing in the box. But again, you know, this is Kevin Smith stuff. So if he's a Legend of Zelda fan, then they give him a free pass. And yeah, these are mas mascot danglers. You hang them up. They're like key change or whatever and honestly I don't know many Zelda characters aside from the main characters Link Zelda Link Zelda Ganon I at least know who Navi is everyone seems to hate Navi oh, be careful I am be careful there's nothing there okay so let's see which one it is Ding. And you don't get one! Oh, stop. Okay, here it is. Oh, I guess it's the princess herself. I do assume this is Princess Zelda. Wow, these things are real tiny. How do you just confuse, you know, it makes you think it's a little bigger than that. But uh, yeah, this is... It's a phone charm. Yeah, it's a phone charm. Little Princess Zelda. We'll try to zoom it in there. Yeah, she looks clear enough. All oh, you gamers know what Zelda looks like anyways. And there will be little zoom-in shots over in the corner somewhere so you can see it better. Or a photo. And for other teams, we got an Avengers. Th oh, jeez. Oh, God. Yes, this is um, Agent Colson's Vincent. I mean, vintage Captain America trading cards. <laughs> so that's. Oh, this is the thing that. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing. You know, I, I told you in the previous video that they're giving these little emails that are kind of spoiling. They didn't spoil too much. They, they just spoiled about the Deadpool figure and uh, like a prop or, or a replica prop of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So this is it. This is the, the that playing is cards cool. that um, Coulson had on him and that he didn't really have them on when he died, but that's what Nick Fury used to inspire everyone. And yeah, these are, I don't want to open them now, but these are all that classic old, like, I guess, you know, because it was based on Captain America when he was famous during the World War II era. At that time, he didn't know he was going to come back to life and everything, and, yeah, jeez. That's cool, you got to let me look at those. Yeah, I'll probably pop them open later, and that's cool. And there's another shield thing here, let me just try to put this away. Oh, just put it down then, let me see. It's a shield book thing. Oh no, no, no. Oh, this is interesting. Arkham Asylum, Hope for the Criminally Insane Patient Notes. That's cool. And I really hope that they're not, it's just not just blank pages. Oh, it's blank pages. Oh, it's a notebook. Well, I mean, yeah, it's like a little notepad. You got all these little sticky notes and reminders and yeah. stuff like that. But, I mean, I would have liked it if it was actually like, you know, the Joker. Here's our craziest one. Harley Quinn, you know, used to be a psychiatrist here. Two-Face, you know, all that yeah. kind of, that would have been kind of cool. But still, it's a, it's a cool little Take sticky note. Take it to note. work. There you go. Oh, jeez. I'll be bombarded by people asking me where I got it, where I got it, where I got it. And then that's where you promote. Nerd block, nerd block, nerd block. And we got Jay and Simon and Bob um, parody type stickers. Like we got, we got one of them like, you know, Fat Man acting like Batman. We got one where they're kind of acting like Mario Luigi. Another like little, little, um, what do you call it, parodies and stuff about that. And then finally we got the little nerd block card. And... Yes, the Nerd Certified Product of the Month is the the Jay and Simon and Bob, yeah, Jen and Bob shirt. Yeah, so I, okay, so that wasn't Kevin Smith, though. That was, um... Simon and Bob. Yeah. Hmm. So, the exclusive Nerd, um, yeah, the, the exclusive um, Deadpool team could either be in his classic red suit or a blue suit. I don't really remember him wearing a blue suit. Where's the... X on it, so I guess that was his outfit whenever he was with the X-Men, because I guess he was with the X-Men for a while. He probably annoyed the hell out of them. But yeah, those are all the minor, the major things here in, in this um, particular block. And that's pretty cool. So yeah, it was pretty interesting. Um, and in this case, I guess, because usually I always say the shirt's my favorite by default. I don't really watch the show that much. I'm not really 
don't know much That's about kind James. Of bias. I, I, don't know. I don't know. It's kind of biased. He made the movie, so it's like, let's just stick something of mine in there. Yeah, yeah. So I don't really particularly care too much. I don't know. I, I like, I don't know. I like... I like this, the Darkum thing. I would like it better if it had actual notes in it. That would have been kind of cool, like little profiles and stuff. The playing cards, that's probably one of my favorite things. It's just a favorite cool little prop to have. The collector's cards. And it's a good not reference to the movie. And I just gotta love these little pop vinyl figures. Paige mostly has most of them, but I like to have one, one or two that's exclusively mine, so that's pretty cool. Nope. They're all mine. No, no, no. And so, yeah, I like this box. It was I pretty cool. I have the Harley one. Yeah, but, you know, you're a bigger Hardy fan anyways. I'm more, I follow Deadpool just a little bit more. But anyways, guys, um, yeah, that's the, that's the box for this month. It was pretty awesome. It was called Collide, you know, Marvel vs. DC. And I like it. Was, it was pretty evened out here and there, or, you know. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Was better. Yeah, well, you'll, you'll have to see if it was better or not. You have to see her video to see if it's true. But, it um, yes, from now on, we got more themes. So far, I'm not sure what the next month's theme's going to be, but I'm sure we're going to get lots of spoilery emails about it. I do have to say that at least this time they didn't spoil too much. It was just something related to the movie hey, uh, Deadpool and Zelda. At least it didn't have like a sex sexually yes, trans transmitted disease again. I know. It's like that would yeah. I but, I keep interrupting interrupting, I'm sorry. But um I looked into like the different other stuff like Nerdblock Junior. They had like brain cells and there's something else like organs and there's like hmm. a boy's one. I guess it was like all diseases just that I guess for the more adult nerd block they went with the more adult route but anyways guys um yeah that wraps up this particular video and as usual there'll be a link below with like more information on how you want to um subscribe to nerd block how to get there how to check it out and everything and uh, a reference to my channel and my uh loot crate crates. and all that stuff yes but anyways guys um, that's it for this month we'll see what happens for November to see what big theme they have for November November. Well, check it out. So, anyways, guys, Mark Rodriguez signing off. See ya. Hey guys, this is a real quick little extra thing here. I just want to say that wow, these cards now that we opened them up, they're so authentic, you know, to the movie. They even have like the blood stains from well, you know, when Colson got stabbed by. Um, well, technically, it was fake, so. Yeah, but yeah, I know, but that's what we're supposed to represent anyway. But yeah, wow, talk about attention to detail, guys. Like, jeez, that's awesome.